When it comes to which reports, when it comes to your food, you should be sending to your coach, there's really two that are primarily required. Number one is gonna be your calories, and number two is going to be your macros. So I'm gonna show you on the phone how to find those. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to My Fitness Pal, and then in here, you're gonna be able to see this main screen. Now, a lot of people get stuck at the top here where it says calories remaining. What you need to do is hit those three dots, okay? So there's three dots above the calories remaining, and you're gonna see, when you click that three dots, it's gonna say, which focus do you want it? Do you want a calorie focus, macronutrient focus, heart healthy, et cetera, et cetera? I don't have the premium, so all I have is calorie focus available. So that's simple for me. So I click on that and it's done, okay? Now, this is the screen that we want you to take a screenshot of, where it shows you your goal minus your food, okay? So that's number one. That's gonna be your calories in versus calories out. Now, I don't like to have the watches connected to the MyFitnessPal because your coach is gonna give you specific calories that you should be consuming every single day. And so if, as soon as you start to add back your exercise, it throws the numbers right off, okay? So unless your coach gives you a specific parameters to include your exercise, most of the time we take exercise out of the equation and we give you specific calories and macros that you should be following. So when you click in here, it's gonna show you what is your total? So right now I just did the meal that we showed in an earlier video where it's protein, 22 grams. So right now it's showing me what my goal is, how much I've consumed and how much I have left, okay? So that's the other screenshot that you're gonna send. So they're gonna be looking at your protein, your carbs, they're gonna be looking at your fat and they're gonna be looking at your fiber. So you would send them a screenshot of that. So if I go back, there's my calories in, calories out. Now, when it comes to setting your goals, you wanna to go to more, hitting goals, and any of this like current weight stuff at top, we eliminate that because the coach is gonna give you specific calories and then they're gonna let you know what percentage of carbs, proteins, and fats that they want you to do. And then you save that and we're gonna be overriding what anything that MyFitnessPal says. So there's the two reports that you should be sending to your coach. We wanna know your calories in versus calories out. And then we wanna take a look at your macros, make sure that your goals are set with the, the goals that the coach has given you when it comes to calories but also when it comes to the macros, and that's another part of the belly burn challenge. When it comes to sending in your daily report to your coach, there's a couple things that we need to cover. So the first thing is that you're going to get entered into a group with other people that are super dialed in and focused on the belly burn challenge. Now, some groups are more chatty than the others, and you wanna be able to use this as your support system, but also a way to connect with other people that are dialed into the belly burn challenge for the next 28 days. So this is a group that I've, that I've had. These guys are a little bit uh, more chatty, but they're also ultra supportive. So as you can see, they post support in here. They are posting like recipes, photos, uh, you know, things that they're going through, but it's a way to have people in your corner because they say you are the people that you surround yourself with. So as soon as you start surrounding yourself with people that are like-minded, then your chances of success go up significantly. So each coach runs their challenges and their reports a little bit differently. When it comes to mine, you're going to get a document like this. Now on this doc, it's going to have these columns here. Now I like to put pen to paper, so I would prefer it if everybody had a printout of this and then you can add it up on the week. So if you did all of your abs, which are found at the top here, then what you would do is you would do this ab and at the end you would give yourself an ab check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark. And then you would put how many did you do for that week? So in this case, I would have gotten six. So what that looks like, most people will actually just take a photo of their report. So you can see abs, right? Water, how much steps she got, did she take her supplements? Did she do a workout? And did you get the task of the day? So the task of the day, and again, every coach runs it a little bit differently. It could be something like drink one liter of water first thing in the morning. And then that, that would be a separate, separate sheet that your coach would probably give to you. Now, again, every coach runs it differently. And depending on where you are in the phase of the journey, you might just focus on just the report, then maybe just the report and the abs, and then maybe just the report the abs and the task of the day. But it just depends on who your coach is and where you are in this journey. If you're just starting off, we wanna just keep it to the basics of just reporting 
so that you can build up the habit of focusing on the nutrition without worrying about doing all the extras that, uh, you know, the abs and the task of the day brings. So when it comes to reporting, uh, again, I prefer that you, you handwrite it, right? This way you can hold yourself accountable to getting it done. And as you can see over here on the left side, it says peak week freezing bath times 10 minutes. So again, if you're a veteran and you've done these and you're up for these extra challenges, then do them. But if you're new, then just focus on your basics of nutrition so that you can get that part down. But as you can see, here's the other sheet with the task of the day. And then she checked off that she did the task of the day, TOTD. So that's like how the report would look if you're doing a virtual report, which some people uh, actually do, then um, they would just report it like this. So how, what was their abs? How much water did they drink? How many steps did they take their supplements that the coach recommended to them? And how many workouts did they get for the day? So in this case, she got three workouts done for that day. Did she send a report? So the report is your calories. So in a previous video i showed you that we want to see your calories in your calories out so something like this right so here's here's the screenshot she took from my fitness pal showing the protein carbs fats fiber right and then the second one is right here so we're looking at what was her goal and how much food did she eat right those are the two reports that we ask for so when it comes to filling out this doc did you get your abs of the day if that's a part of your challenge how many liters of water did you drink and again, you can report these. Um, if you got a busy day, I, I like my reports in by 7 p.m. Some coaches are a little bit different. I just tell you to report where you are. Okay. So if you report early, like sending in your sup, your, your nutrition, your calories in, calories out, your protein, et cetera, et cetera, and you need to send that in early, that's fine. Just don't forget about this report. You can send this report at seven. And if you didn't get all your steps done or didn't take all your supplements, don't worry about that. You can make a note of that onto your, your, your sheet and your coach will be able, to be able to identify it. So how many waters, how many steps did you get? Did you take your, all your supplements? How many workouts did you get so far? Did you send in your nutrition report and did you get your task of the day? So when it comes to reporting for the belly burn, those are the things that you need to be reporting.